Hi, I'm Cameron Turner. The lights had barely dimmed on the 82nd Academy Awards when shock jock Howard Stern opened his mouth with an ignorant assessment of precious star Gabory Sidibe's future career prospects. Stern and his sidekick Robin Quivers essentially said that Gabby will never work in Hollywood again because she's a large size black woman. Now, of course, their language was much less charitable than that. Stern said, everyone is pretending that she's a part of show business and she's never going to be in another movie. Well, perhaps before Howard Stern opens his mouth with something like that again, he'll do his research. Not only is Gabby Sidibe going to be in another movie, she has actually already completed two projects. There's the independent film, Yelling at the Sky, and also The Big C, a dark comedy series for Showtime starring Laura Linney that will debut this summer. Now, it is true, of course, that much of Hollywood is narrow-mindedly focused on skinny, white, 20-something actresses. But in spite of that, Gabby Sidibe does, indeed, have a promising career ahead of her. And that's for two reasons. First of all, there are progressive, imaginative people working in film and television who operate outside of that narrow, young, white, skinny box defined by Vanity Fair. Moreover, and this, this is the real key, black filmmakers are going to make sure that Gabory Sidibe continues to work. You see, what Howard Stern and people like him fail to realize is that African Americans, historically, have been a make-a-way out of no-way people. Our progress has never depended upon us sitting around waiting for somebody to give us an opportunity. We've always gone out and created opportunities where none existed. From Oscar Michaud back in 1919 all the way through the decades and up to the present day, black filmmakers have always generated their own projects and garnered mainstream acclaim high ratings, and big box office in the process. See, Precious is just the latest example of black folks coming together to realize a vision in spite of the odds. And so, Gabby Sidibe, yeah, get used to seeing her, because she and a lot of other very talented artists are going to be around for a long time. I'm Cameron Turner, and that's my two cents.